In this video, I show how to calculate present value factor table in Excel using Excel 2 variable data table. First, we calculate the present value factor of for a one year. So to calculate the present value factor, we use a formula 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power of T. So where R is rate of interest and T is duration in years. So here we enter the rate in the decimals, let us say 10%, so 0 0.10 and duration, let us say 2 years. So our present value factor will be equals to 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of t. So to calculate 1 plus r to the power of t, we use Excel function power. So power 1 plus Here we have a r, so 1 plus r to the power of t, t is the duration, it is in years 2. So here we got a present value factor for one time period and rate. Now to calculate the factor table, which we see in most of our textbooks, at the end of our textbooks, so to calculate that grid. What is it we need to do is, in this cell we wrote a formula, in immediate cell, adjacent cell, you mention the percentages for which you want to calculate the table. So here we have a 10%, so we may proceed from 10% to 20%, so 0.1, 10%, 20%. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 14, 15, 16, 17, right. Now, as here is our formula, an adjacent columns in the same row, we mentioned the percentage, that is percentage of interest, that is the rate of interest. And in, this, in the same column, we need to mention the years, 1, 2, 3, so 15 years. Now you can see here, so here is your formula. On the same row, we mentioned rate of interest and in the same column, we mentioned years. Once you have done this, select the grid. So here is our total grid or matrix. So once you select this, click to menu and go to click on data. In data, go to what if analysis. In what if analysis, click data table. So in data table asks you to give input row input cell and column input cell in the sense row input cell in the sense the variable which is used to be used to calculate so here in row input cell click on this red here in the row inputs here in a row we give a rate of interest so select rate of interest and in a column input we give a duration so select the duration and click OK. So here you got you got the present value factors.